Hi, everybody. I am Matthew Miller. I am the Fedora project leader. This is a Fedora Council video meeting. So in the Fedora Council, we try to conduct most of our business so that it doesn't need to be done in meetings at all. Um, but we found that having regular meetings on you know, IRC, chat-based meetings, help us make sure that our regular business gets pushed forward. That kind of cadence is important. And also that having these kind of high bandwidth, literally high bandwidth video meetings let us keep in sync with some of the other important parts of the project. So we've been using these to focus on a sub area of Fedora that we have, there's something interesting going in on or might need attention or needs more visibility or something like that. So this week we are, or this month, this week, today, we're focusing on the Fedora respins big, which is um, largely Ben Williams here. Uh, it, and it's one of the things that's been going on in Fedora, um, probably one of our, longest standing sub projects that's still active, I think. Um, and so uh, Ben has a presentation for us and then we'll have questions for him afterwards. Uh, welcome, Ben, take it away. Now my question is, how do I share this presentation? Aha, uh -huh. there should be a share link um, up at the top of BlueJeans there. There's a share screen thing, looks kind of like a monitor icon. All right. Should have done a tech check beforehand, but okay. Loading presentation. Awesome. It it's working. You see the Fedora respins? Yeah, I see the whole, whole window there. It's not in present mode, but I see it there. Well, I go in present mode, and then it takes up both my screens, so I can't do that. So we'll do it this <laughs> way. All right. This will uh, work. Hello, everybody. I'm Ben Williams. I'm J.B. Willa in the Fedora world, and also Southern Gentleman in KK4EWT. Uh, I'd like to thank you for inviting me to talk about the respins, and hopefully I can answer any questions that you may have. Uh, today, my topics for this presentation are the history of the respins and some information about the respin sig, how and when we create the respins. Respins. Uh, the history of respins. First Fedora respin was done by the was done as Fedora Core 5 by the Fedora Unity Project. Fedora Unity Project was Fedora community members. Uh, me and about five other people were looking at the documentation in Fedora, and it was very lacking. And so we had sites that we offered how to fix issues and stuff like that. And we also did the first set of respins. SC5, when it was released, had a kernel that had a lot of issues. And so we respun it for the community, and that's how we got started. Uh, the Fedora Unity Project also released the first Fedora Live. It was not an installable live. It was just a live instance for FC6. Uh, the first installable live was released by the Fedora project for FC7, or F7. Got an extra C in there. Uh, Fedora Unity re, uh, produced updated ISOs through F12, battling Anaconda issues left and right. And then the Fedora Unity project basically dissolved. Uh, I personally built Respins for my own use from F12 to F15. F15, we had shell shock. Uh, and I was talking to Kevin from Release Engineering. And I said, hey, if you give me a place to store this, I'll release updated ISO so people will not have the susceptible shell shock at, in at the install. With that, Release Engineering provides alternate respins for a location for us to distribute our ISOs. Uh, the Fedora community has seen that this was a one-man operation and stepped forward to help us with the resp and thus the respin SIG was born. Uh, according to FAST, uh, Fedora respin SIG has 15 members. We probably have about seven or eight that are active. Respins are created either by using the live media creator 
or Live CD Creator. Uh, there's a link there if you want to see how to use the Live Media Creator. Uh, respins were being created on each kernel, even each even kernel. Example would be 5.10.12, but due to the fast release from the kernel upstream, that has been cut back to the first and the fifteenth of the month. There, are one, there are a couple of weeks we were getting four kernels a week. This is a volunteer situation, so that that was a little bit much for to test and try to get two releases out the door in a week. So we, we backed it off to one release every two weeks. And questions? Thank you, that's a great overview. I guess, uh, wow, was Shellshock really that long ago? I, I guess that's my, my main question in my mind. Uh, wow, I, that makes me feel old, I guess. Yes, it was that's, 19 that's, versions ago. <laughs> that, that's amazing. Um, uh, I have a question, if you don't mind. Uh, there is, I would like to, uh, a while ago, I would like to try to be joined and try to help the community on the rest in live image. And I checked the documentation. It was kind of, you know, I lost in it. I didn't fully understand how do I going to start it. I know how to create a live ISO image on the update ISO files. So, uh, sorry, updated RPM files to create an updated ISO. But I, I couldn't actually find how to submit this results. I only saw a big chunk of Google documentation, as far as I know. And that's about it. I didn't find any other like like tangible information for myself. Maybe I couldn't understand it. Maybe the documentation is missing, but I'm kind of lost between that process. So, yeah. So, Thank you. Come see us in Fedora Respins on Freenode. IRC channel Fedora yeah. Respins mm -hmm. is the place. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where we hang out. Mm -hmm. uh, we we have a builder which is a VM at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on a cloud instance at the moment to try to build for F34, and we run into some issues. And I have filed Bugzilla Zone, mm -hmm. and I'm in communication with Brian Lane, who is the Lorax developer or maintainer. In communications, him with issues we're having. Uh, I've got scripts. We've got a script that we run it. It builds all the ISOs for all the labs. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, the, the door community is not set up for individual people to submit ISO updated live ISOs. Uh, it's okay. I, 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 when I said submit means I would like to submit my test results, like, how, like, the, there's a test matrix as I saw, so how to test it, like, how to contribute that part. That part is I didn't find it or I didn't understand it, so that was the problem I had. Okay. Uh, we do have a matrix. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a testing matrix that we use. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can so does, get that, that uh, use... URL. Well, you look for the URL. Does that use the same uh, test matrix, like the same test criteria that the release criteria uses, or is it a separate test uh, framework? It's a test, separate test framework. Our framework is manually driven. Uh, usually the workstation and KDE ISOs are, when we submit to Alt, uh, Adam Williamson, is pulling that information in the open QA and they usually test those ISOs as well. Let's see here. So the, they get automatically tested once you, once they're uploaded, basically? Yep. Yes, sir. And so you're building these on a, is it a VM in Fedora infrastructure or a VM outside of Fedora infrastructure that this stuff is? It's a VM on my infrastructure. On your infrastructure, okay. We, we've got a cloud instance that is sitting on Fedora infrastructure at the moment. 
that uh, we're trying to get to work. Okay. If we can get it to work, well, I'd rather build there than on my machine. Um, so I know, uh, so Mark is here from Lenovo. He has some interest in this because sometimes we uh, want to have newer newer versions of Fedora Workstation to put on the uh, Lenovo ThinkPads that are shipping with uh, pre-installed. Um, and so we, we recently did a thing where we basically asked um, Release Engineering for an official or semi-official respin from um, there. Uh, I'm wondering if we could bring these processes closer together, if we could uh, make it so it's easier for you as the respin SIG to do it. So, you know, I, I think um, Adam Williamson and Mohan both uh, volunteered and Peter Robinson for that matter. I had a lot of people volunteering to say, hey, I could do this no problem as a one-off. But if you're doing something twice a month, um, it seems like having a SIG responsible for it rather than adding more work to release engineering would be nice. Um, what, what do you think about that? And is there a way we could move this to enabling you to do it? Well, if I had Koji access where I could do it, yes, that would work out great. But QA is covered up trying to test and get things going for the next release. So okay. that would take a council vote that the respins are legitimate if they are done on for Doors Koji and testing done by the respin SIG is adequate. And if we say it's not worth releasing, we don't release it. Okay. Uh, at the yeah. moment, there are last build. Uh, Mate did not, did not, it built, but it had a boot loop. So it was just bringing up the login screen and just keep looping to it. We will not release that. So that's that's good. So when that happens, you basically just skip it for that release, and then we skip it for that release. And if that, and if uh, workstation and KDE don't build, we don't release anything. We just leave what's out there out there till we can get something built. Do we have a way to give? Do, do the spins maintainers get feedback that their spin didn't build, or? Well, usually it's not the spin maintainer's problem. The kickstart can be working, and there can be some Fedora update that day that things are just not working, and we can give it a couple of days and things get fixed. And if it not, if it doesn't get fixed in like a week time, I start okay. filing bugzillas. All right, that that makes. Um. So how? How different is like the framework you use for testing from like the framework used for like a Fedora test day or something like that? From what I've seen in the helping with the test days, not very far off at all. Uh, There's something. People who are involved in the test days could get involved in this kind of testing pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Is. Yes, sir. Yes. So that leads me to one of the questions, actually. Um, I run most of the test days around Fedora. So it would actually be good if we can collaborate sometime and we can have a respin test day. We we have a set of test days going around anyway. So and test days is kind of not tied to the release cadence. So we can pretty much have test days on any topic. So that opens up for something like a respin test day or a test week because it's it's um, it involves testing a lot of images. So most likely a test week would be good. So I would. This is definitely something I would like to see become more official because it's useful to a lot of people for you know, hardware enablement and also just you know not applying you know two gigabytes of updates each time you start your system. Uh, <laughs> I, I I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, once long ago, I don't know if he's still mad at us, but uh, it was on, it was on Google Plus. Google Plus Linus Torvalds. Uh, Blamed us for not having uh, having official respins with newer kernels. Um, we, we we've outlasted Google Plus, so maybe that's not an issue anymore. But I think there it is definitely a thing that um, pe people would like. And you know, we like to keep Linus happy as a Fedora user, so if we could we could do that. That would be cool. 
Um, How much trouble did we cause with that sort of the official reload uh, image that we did for the X1 Carbon uh, a couple of weeks ago? It so. seemed to be no trouble from the side that I saw. Um, but I, and I think um, I think what I'm what I'm hearing from people is that doing that a couple times a year is no trouble. Um, but if we'd like to have something that's kind of on the cadence of you know doing it twice a month, that starts becoming yeah. a, a, an extra job for somebody. Um, and we'd like to be able to empower the people who have been doing it and want to do it, rather than adding more work for people who are there just because they have to be the only people to do it. Um, from your side, Mark, are there things that could have gone better with that? No, actually, it was amazing. Uh, and genuinely, thank you. <laughs> so, and uh, the yeah, I mean that image is going through well. I think I, I have uh, one one bug related to the fingerprint that we're still trying to reproduce, but otherwise it's it's all looking very good. So thank you for that, and uh, it's good. So uh, your question, Ben, I mean about testing. Obviously, you know we're not going to release an image that hasn't been through our test process, but that's not the same as getting the fedora thumbs up, right? I want I want both, right. um, ideally. So. Uh, in the chat, I posted a link to our test matrix. Yeah. Uh, okay. We'll see if we can make sure those. Uh, Edward, can you copy these links and make sure they get to the wiki, to the YouTube when we post this? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Thank you. Um, all right, so, so so far it's been a pretty short meeting. I don't know if there's a lot of complexity here. Uh, ben, other than getting like more direct access to things, what else could Fedora as a project do to make Respin Sig more successful? Uh, I asked that question of the Sig members, and they said we don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I... Uh, other than what we said is if we could well. On the websites, if we had it, could have a link to the downloads for updated ISOs. But I understand why it's not because it's not official. We could yeah. have a, a link on the websites. Oh yeah, there's updated ISOs done by the community. They are located here, and a link for it. Besides that, that would that's one all more, we can think more. of. One more thing I would like to add is uh, the only respin link when I learned in the first time, it was only in IRC. I only figured this out that link, the respin links, it has been when I learned long ago. It was only has been shown in IRC title on the federal IRC channel. Other than that, it is like it is unknown a bit of it. Yeah. And when I know, I try to share as as much people as I can because it's actually updated images. They do. You don't have to download two gig something. If you start Fedora at the moment right now, try to download the Respin image, and I show that link. He doesn't even have any idea where it is. When I show him, now he knows it. Other than that, it is impossible to find it. So actually, we need to show that more, uh, maybe in the magazine, maybe in the website. Yeah, I would like to see that as well. But it needs to be more open and more seeable because it's only in IRC and it's very bad. Uh, also, I, I, it's on the planet. When I release, yeah. I put a blog yeah. post up and it hits the planet. Yeah, it's the only two that's places that's it's advertised, and there are people who are picking up my blog post and distributing yeah. it I, even I, I wider. <laughs> yeah, I did that so too. One one thing that could get a little more official visibility is maybe putting in the in the community blog. Um, yeah, basically just copy the same blog post there. Um, would be a thing to do. I think for I, putting it on the official website, I think we basically we need two things. We need it to be built in Koji, which I think, um, you know, I know there's some technical limitations, but I think we can probably overcome those. Um, and then we also, it, it's the testing level that I'm concerned about because it's, um, it's those things you said that are like, you know, uh, like there, there might be some little bug there, uh, where, which we might not get, it, we do pretty extensive level of testing on the official, you know, re, uh, release cadence releases, and so I'm I'm a little bit worried that a light the lighter testing that the respins go through might 
um, give some people a bad experience, and we don't want we don't want that, obviously. Um, so, so far, but, all the years I've been doing this, yeah. everybody is saying it works. Yeah, and I, usually, I, and and usually when somebody has a problem, I point it to the re, point them to the respins and for, and pound Fedora, and it solves the problem. Yeah. So, uh, so. so I think yeah, you're right. That it, there's also the there's probably more problems fixed than in, than introduced each time. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. So it, it, it might actually be uh, nice to get to the goal of having the official downloads, and this is this is not a next year goal, but a a aspirational goal, having the official downloads, like the first download you get always be an updated respin, the life cycle of the release. Um, but um, I see Shimanto dropped off video, uh, I'm scaring away QA completely by suggesting things like no, that. I think I'm... that would be nice. And, and at the moment, if somebody installs Workstation, the release Workstation, there's 1.1 gigs of updates. Yeah. Uh, so at that point, you might as, you need might as well install, download right. another ISO anyway. So. And it when when we had the install the default installer was had the option of network sources and apply updates, um, that made it. Uh, easy to avoid that, but um, the default installer from the live right now installs from the live, so you don't get that option. Um, so, yeah, I I don't know. I personally uh, think that it would be a, a good goal for us to move towards that. Um, and so I think the steps of making the making the respins more official is probably a first step towards that, and then you can look at getting it more more publicity. Yeah, but that would be amazing. I, I think we can we can create a trigger to to I think maybe Twitter post and in the Telegram project news post uh, maybe trigger by the same planet post. So you can go to the community blog, to the planet, and to Twitter and to uh, Telegram. That is the the things I can manage. I cannot manage more than that, but I think I can help with that. Another uh, place. Quick... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I think it's, it's very useful. I remember I, it was like two or three years ago, and the last free sold, there is a installation fest that is here in Latin America. We ca we had a, a specific ISO updated for free sold, and that was awesome because the bandwidth in normally in install fest is very, very low. And having an updated image to offer to people was amazing. We we were the only distro offering an updated image. Everyone else have to install and then update. Tom, I noticed you say uh, "my bad" a couple times in the chat here. Do you want to elaborate on what you're saying "my bad" about? Well, you keep bringing up that we're pushing these giant piles of updates, and I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. he's partially responsible for that with tech life, <laughs> So I, I'm sorry, my bad. Tech Live and uh, Chromium updates, yes. Uh, thank no, no thank spot, you for doing those. No spot. <laughs> if we didn't have those updates, we wouldn't need the updated <laughs> respins. So, no, that's part of it. We love it. <laughs> that's funny. Ben, do you have any uh, metrics on how many people are downloading the uh, the updated respins? No, sir. That might be interesting to do, too. Again, it would be interesting to see what the audience is currently, even with the difficulties of finding it. If you've got a reliable user base there, that's an interesting data point. The, yeah, uh, it, uh, at the moment, I've asked for numbers each spin. Release engineering cannot give me the numbers. I can tell you the numbers from our torrents. Uh, it's right about 150 gig per release. I would say the torrents are probably more reliable because I've talked to Smooge about getting stats from various things from the website and the problem is the internet is so full of nonsense these days that it is basically 90% bots doing various nefarious things and 5% mistakes and maybe 5% signal in download written uh, the count. So you can't really get any useful useful numbers from web like the FTP or web stats. Um, that's and, why and that's why they want that. to tell you 
It's not because they don't want to. It's just because it, we don't have a really good way of measuring those things. And also, we're using mirrors. Right. Although, it, if we yeah, only had one site, we could have the stats. But since you got yeah, yeah got hundreds of mirrors out there, you can't do it. Right. Um, which you know saves us billions of dollars in bandwidth. So uh, <laughs> it's hard to hard to argue with that. Um, yeah, and again, you know, this is part of the trade-off we make. You know, Fedora does not do any tracking. There's no pingbacks when you go to do an install. Um, if we were, if we were basically anybody else, this would be an easy problem to solve because we would just make the installer send all of your personal information and your social security number to our data collection <laughs> service, and and then we would know. But uh, yeah, uh, we don't have a real. There is a question I would like to point out. Uh, is there a, when you release the respin image, is it shown in fetch message? Yeah. You don't know. Because you know, if it is, it will be nice to make a, a bot to track them all because I would know there's a filter and title to easily be handled because the fetch message actually handled that so, so much nicer on that point. That was a, that was a uh, question. That is beyond the scope of the SIG. So I think that if it were produced in Koji, there would I mean, there would be Fed messages um, along with that. But the yeah. trick is, is there a Fed message that is associated with an approved official release rather than with just that, a that will be state? nice because we can actually make a bot what uh, he my friend said in Telegram. That would be much more viable solution. Yeah. So that's why I, so that's why, that's why I can... one thing that might. Uh, if you got somebody who's interested in making bots, making a command that the uh, respin sig could run that would say this release is blessed and just put that onto fed message uh, would be actually a, possibly a useful, useful thing. Yeah, that, yeah. Give the any 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 information can be tangible. I can also utilize that and put it in my community in my language. Show that that respin is fine, that respin is not. More publicity, more people can access it. That would be nice, yes. Um, yeah. I also had a thought on another way to help publicize this. Um, we've got a Fedora Quick Doc section on installation. Um, and writing a Quick Doc that just says they are you know, explaining what the respins are, uh, explaining, you know, the trade-offs of testing versus newer things, you know, giving the community built status, uh, and then linking to them right there would probably increase the visibility by, I don't know, a thousand percent. Um, so you think that, people read the docs? Um, <laughs> so right, uh, pe people do go read the docs. Pe people and people, it's something that people can be pointed <laughs> at as well. Um, I, I know, I know. Uh, but uh, we are also very. Pe people also do searching for things, and it will come up in search results. The, the Fedora docs has pretty good Google um, gravity. Uh, and um, we're also hopefully going to have actual search for those docs themselves sometime soon. Matthew, but even I'm, go I'm going to say one thing. Everybody likes magazine. Just please and make a post on magazine. 100% better than a documentation. Yeah. So, all right, a post on the magazine would also be a good idea. Although I think we probably don't want like you know every time there's a respin, but just like a what are the respins? No, no. Just show this is the respin. This is how you access. Yeah. That would be yeah. even so much better. Yeah. I'm sure the magazine editors would be happy for uh, our I guess uh, the difference is the magazine article kind of makes a splash at one point and it's always there later but you know 2 years from now it will it'll be unclear if it's still current information because it's kind of blog you know time formatted so having it you can put the same content in the magazine and the docs I'd say put it both places I guess uh, the problem is is a year down the road people are going to be trying to pull the old ISOs and the new stuff's going to be there. So that, that's the only thing I've got about the magazine. Yeah, you wouldn't want it to link to the specific ISOs. You just link to the, you know, this is this is the tree where there's, it lives. There's a general ISO for every time it shows the latest ISO. That link, enough. Because it's always shows the latest ISO in the, in the link. You can always can I, kind of redirect to current and then point the current to whatever the new ISO is. That's why mm -hmm. the QA guys basically fetch the current testing matrices right off. I will uh, 
let people who care about the redirects and current and so on on the uh, distribution network worry about the details there. Well, uh, well, that's down, that is downstream for me, so that's not my issue. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, and you also said these are available via torrent. Uh, where, what's, let's, let's make sure we put the torrent link in here as well. Do you? The torrent links are uh, on the alt respins. Okay. And they are not stay safe. What? Okay. When you uh, when you update the image, it also updates the torrent uh, oh. magnet as well, right? So it doesn't stay same. Right. The torrents does do not stay the same. They yeah. they get a new. Yeah. That, that's it, why all, just, all the it, links go in there at the same time. I see. So yeah. they're right there as well. Okay. Cool. I can just click on a dot torrent. That's fine. Yeah, just this. Where is this? Uh, let me post it, please. This is the only link is the show always pointing the latest one, but the inside of the ISO files is always changing when they release the new ISO. So, yeah. Okay. The cool. ISO is changing, so is the checksum, the hash sum, yep. and the torrent file. Right. All that will change. This everything. is the only link is the general link we can count on, so yeah. And there is a tiny URL link that points to the same location, and that's usually yep. what I put in all the documentation. Sorry, I didn't find it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, you did, because you found it in the Pound Fedora channel. Yeah, you know, when I, no, when I tell in history, it was just show the, the alt. Okay, so this is the link I have, so I'm just going to post this. <laughs> but I know the tiny one in the IRC. <laughs> I'm downloading from zero of zero peers here, so I don't know. Perfect. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay. Oh, I, uh, that might be one reason. I'll take care <laughs> of that. I had a question. I don't know if it makes sense, but do you, for the testing that you do on the images, is there any of it automatable? If I was wanting to run my own open QA, yeah. Okay, but I did like. I know it's always a case of if uh, and if, if if I can make a bunch of platforms available, it's uh, it's always hard to get the hands to go with them, and I'm just wondering how automatable it would be to help on that side of things. So I think that if, again, a, a side effect of doing this in the official Koji was that it would be pretty easy to plumb into our official open QA as well. It, it would automatically flow. Uh, so, so I, don't, I don't know enough about how your open QA works, but is that literally just something it would pick up an image and, and I could deploy it to a whole bunch of platforms and find out if there are any issues? Um, we. Maybe we need to have uh, Adam on here to talk about OpenQA. Um, so I, I I think that it is all virtual systems in OpenQA. Um, yeah, all of them is just fired up once. That would be easier. And <laughs> yeah. delete the VM. Uh, uh, we, okay. There's also uh, Shimantro, Can you talk more about this? We we've, we do do automated testing at Red Hat um, yeah. on um, things, but I'm not sure how all that goes. So usually Adam has this tool called FedFind, which would basically go find the candidate image that would basically just flow into the, whenever it's built, it's basically sends out a compose message and then that is plugged into the open QA. It's basically, um, in short, it would basically capture the screen. Uh, the needle would match whatever it is supposed to match. If it doesn't match, then it would call it a failure. It can, uh, it is basically something which can click on buttons and basically move forward records a video of uh, if, if it fails, pause on that, record that screen, send a message via BRT back to Bugzilla as a Chris report, and then that's how it basically goes. So technically how I understand it is if we have it built in Koji, it would be like, it would just flow into Adam's open. That's as okay. simple as that. Do we have any way, do, do we use Beaker or any test framework to test things on actual hardware at all? That would be very interesting to mark. Yeah. Um, that is something Adam can be more precise on because okay. for all, all I know, um, when we had this uh, PowerPC LE got added, there was a bunch of hardware that we, we had to add to uh, OpenQA support. 
So I think that is something Adam would be more happy to discuss. Okay. Yeah, and no, I don't have an infrastructure that I could drop this onto yet. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I was just thinking ahead. I was like, okay, if I can get to the stage where I do have something, it would be nice if it worked so that we could be part of what triggers and test it on real uh, hardware, right? Uh, uh, my my I, imagination. I if you want to provide me some infrastructure, I'll test it on the infrastructure. <laughs> I, Adam made the same request. I don't get it. <laughs> then you should listen them because they know how to do it. Yeah. No, it's absolutely. But, uh, yeah. but my imagination is think about like a hundreds of hundreds laptop in Lenovo showing how to install Anaconda and Fedora images all over the place. Cool. That would be a nice picture to see it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. I'm going to drop the link to Beaker in the chat here as well. We're going to have a lot of yeah, links. I've looked, I have looked at Beaker, and, and this is it. I don't, I don't have a, an infrastructure that I can use that with yet, but it's, it's something which I'm looking at. Okay. All right. And I, I, I don't know if – it's possible that OpenQA can also do things like that, but we just haven't set it up to do that. I don't actually know the answer. Yeah. No, it's cool. I'm trying, to, trying, to, question. trying to think ahead of what would be useful. Good. Thank Are you. there other questions, anybody? And yes, uh, Matt, I'm building on Fedora boxes and Fedora VMs uh, using only the Fedora repos. That was what we were told back in FC5. Uh, when uh, can't remember the the all project. Fedora, all the all the way down. Uh, it, it it's everything is run on Fedora using Fedora tools and 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 the like. So FC five that probably Max. It, it's either either Max or Greg at that it time. It was Max. Yeah. Because he came back to the Fedora Unity project because release engineering. Because Ubuntu had released a live ISO, and release engineering told him it couldn't be done. So he <laughs> asked us, can y'all do it? We said, we'll try. And so the day that FC6 was released, we had early access to a meter, mirror, and we created the ISOs. Nice. Cool. And then release engineering come talk to us, and next time for F7, they released installable laps. That's great. Well, evidently, something must be going on because I'm getting a flood of people trying to get the respins at the moment. So, <laughs> Excellent. Hey, uh, I have a quick question. Um, yes, sir. I, I, I know the um... – uh, also, I'm not a cat. Um, I'm David Cantrell. Uh, so <laughs> the, the question I have is around the um, uh, images available in uh, in cloud environments like Amazon, um, EC2, things like that. Are you doing respins for any of those? No? Are, is there any interest in that from people? Oh, there's interest in it. <laughs> I do not have – I don't have the Koji instance to create those. Okay, so – um, all right. I since I'm normally more interested in the in marketing and this kind of stuff. Maybe my question is: Are you interested in having a maybe a, a more appealing website with a rest with a rest spin log or something that we can make it more than just an Apache directory listing? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the last part of that. Uh, the uh, suggestion was to make uh, an updated a, a website, a respins website, rather than just the directory listing. Uh, uh, we mentioned earlier um, talking, uh, putting it on like the main Get Fedora website, but also maybe in between, just having a uh, respins Fedora project on our website. Or something. Uh, as always, things come down to manpower. Well, I'm not saying right no. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm offering. I'm offering the manpower. Yeah. You can make it? Yeah. 
It's, it's a stat, it will be a static site that just have the, a beautiful directory listing at the end. So uh, it will be just uh, one do. All right. That that sounds reasonable to me. And after you make it, who's going to keep it up? I think it could be in the federal infrastructure. Just we need the the DNS. Who, who's going to be the maintainer after you put it up? Who's going to be responsible that every time I release a set of respins, it's going to update that page? Uh, every time you have a release, you have the this directory listing that is in the chat again, uh, in the tiny URL form. So I just can create a site that have this directory listing about, and every time it's dated, it will be automatically updated. That's the idea I have. So, so it's just be a static page. It points to the 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 download exactly. the download dot for doors. That's it. Alt live response. Yes, that's that's yes. the idea. Okay. Something like that um, seems seems doable. I I know Marie is working on getting the website team up and going again as a viable okay. ongoing thing. And um, it seems like this would be something that we'd want the website team to ultimately own in collaboration with the respins uh, SIG for actual content. But cool. uh, Edward, if you want to work on it, that would be cool. I can work on it. Uh, I, I take it as a marketing task. I see that we're not using respins.fedoraproject.org, so it, it's available. Awesome. All right. Um, any other questions or comments? All right. Well, thank you very much, Ben. This has been very interesting and helpful. Uh, thanks for everybody for showing up. Thank you, Mark, particularly for your comments as a consumer of this. That's very helpful for us to know about. Yep. And thanks um, for the invite. Yep. And see you all, you know, on the internet and back a video call. I, I think we're talking about the new logo next month, so that'll that'll be exciting. Um, see you all later. Okay. See ya. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.